Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and very good day to you all. Uh, today in this video we're talking about chapter 812, Bold and Rebated. Joins in Loaded in Share. Okay. So, again this book is taken from the, this chapter is taken from the Shigli Mechanical Engineering Design book. And the images is taken randomly from the Google Images and also from the book itself. So, uh, please note, the design of both and better connection for boiler bridges, buildings and other structures is danger to human life. It involves strictly to govern by various construction code. If you read this uh, statement, meaning that when you are dealing with uh, boilers, boilers, bridges, buildings and many critical structures, you have to refer to the rules by your uh, your city council okay your city council like in malaysia there is a madlis perbandaran uh, uh, okay in your country you have the your city council there is a rules and regulation maybe the same maybe slightly different from your uh, from from every country but every country has its its own rules and regulation you before you doing your thing before you doing the design and everything, you should consult with your senior. You should consult with your uh, city council uh, for their uh, guideline. Okay. Okay. Both riveted. Uh, this is the picture of the rivet and both the joints. This is a. It does not have a track. It just put inside it. Okay. Riveted and both the joint in the issue are threaded exactly like in design and analysis. Uh, speaker 8.23 shows a riveted connection loaded in shell that study with the various means by the connection might fail. 8.23b shows a failure by bending of rivet. Okay, so bending moment is from PM equals to M FT over 2. So F is the sharing force. Uh, okay, what does it mean? You can read all the sentence. What does it mean? By this sentence, okay. For the riveted, for the rivet joint, who is in that is in to this position, okay, and the force is given in from axial force, okay. No problem to it, no problem concerning if even this topic does, does not discuss the the force going from from this direction from axial force direction. No, this topic discussing about oh that is in. This position, okay, this position, and then it's connected with, with, let's say, a plate, okay, okay, and then the force given by the weight of the plate itself is a shear force, shear, shear force, shear force, shear, usually represented by the symbol, symbol W, uh, symbol V. Okay, this is what we are talking about and then uh, the bending stress equation stress equals to m m l over c this is the equation for the stress that we want uh, to find uh, the 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 stress uh, we want to find okay the how many amount of Rebate how many amount of bolt to find according it is according to the stress uh, that the bolt can contain. Okay, this is what we want to uh, study in this topic. Okay, so uh, figure eight to three shows the mode of failure of uh, of bolt or rebate. Okay, because the bolt or rebate does not have thread, it does not have thread like this. It just it is a uh, this not this is a screw. It has thread, but the bolt has not. The rivet has no thread. It just we just put inside, uh, inside the place to make it on place. Okay, so it may displace like this. It may, uh, okay, shear loading. This is failure by A, is shear loading. Okay, B is the bending by rivet. C is the shear of the rivet. Okay. D is the tensile failure of uh, members. Okay, E is the bearing or ribbon of members. 
F is here tear out and E is tensile tear, tear out. This is what we want to discuss uh, about. Okay, we want to avoid it. Okay. Okay. Failure of ribbon by pre or shear is uh, shown the shear. The stress in the ribbon is this is the shear stress equals force over area. Where area is a cross sectional of all the ribbons in the group. We may denote that it's standard practice that is designed to use the nominal diameter of the ribbon rather than diameter of the hole, even though the hot ribbon, uh, hot ribbon, ribbon expand and nearly fill up the hole. Okay. Standard practice is that the design. Use the nominal diameter of the ribbon. Okay. I don't have the ribbon with me. Let's say this is a ribbon. Okay. You measure the diameter, the nominal diameter of the ribbon. Okay. Your design must be according to this, to this diameter, not the diameter of the hole. Okay. You, when you design, you measure the diameter of the ribbon first. And then you make all your hole is according to the diameter of your ribbon. Okay. This is the standard practice. Okay. Structure on connected members. Structure on one of connected members of place of your attention is illustrated by figure 8 to 3D. Okay. This is the structure of connected member. Where is the net area of the plate. Uh, area is reduced by amount of equal uh, of area of all ribbon holes, okay. Uh, meaning that when you are putting the ribbon, okay, okay, stress goes to force over area, okay, and then this is your plate. This is the area, area of the plate is L. Length times width, okay. Length times width, and then the width of the plate, the width of the plate itself has it can convert to become force, okay, times gravity, okay. And then when you put the ribbon, of course, you make a hole, make a hole, make the hole, the hole, the hole, you minus the hole. Minus the area for the hole, meaning that you use all the mathematics that you know. The area of the plate minus the area of the hole, then you get the area that you want to do in this equation. Okay. Probitral materials and static loads, and for either indeed load dependent transportation effect must be included. This is true when the use of bolt with initial prolog and sometimes a uh, river will place the area around the whole incorporation and thus tend to nullify the effect of such uh, concentrations unless the finish track are taken to ensure that the preload does not relax and it, it is on the conservative side to design if, if the full as if the full stress concentration effect were present. Stress concentration effect are not considered in structural design because the loads are static and materials are that direct. This what does it mean? It's mean by the sentence when you are designing something okay, uh, involving bolts and nuts, of course that design will become addition. This is material A, this is part A, this is part B connected together by bolts and also connected together by by bolts or by revet. Okay. And then all have stress concentration. But if when you are tightened up tightly, two two parts are tightened tightly, the stress concentration stress concentration will be gone. Okay. Not not the metal gone, but usually doesn't matter, does, you don't bother to populate the stress concentration because it become nullified. Okay, nullified meaning that it become like, like gone lah. Yeah. Okay. So this is the bearing stress. Uh, in calculating the area for it, uh, bigger 8.4, the design of course, use the combination of 
Oppo, repair Oppo that keep the smallest area. So, illustrate failure by crushing or calculate, calculation of the stress is usually called the bearing stress complicated because distribution of load on the cylindrical uh, surface of the repair. Okay. Uh, this is the bearing stress. What it, does it mean by bearing stress? Okay. Stress from members. Okay. This is the your repair. Okay. This is your repair. Okay. The repair is connected to a plate. Okay. The point where uh, very stress happen is this point where the surface of the repair connected to the surface of the uh, of the plate, this is called bearing, right? Connection, okay, on the plate, okay. So, uh, when you when you put the repair, sometimes this portion will become bending. Okay, this portion. Basically, you can see with your eye, this portion will become slightly bending, okay, as long as it does not uh, damage your, the whole structure, does not affect the whole structure, it, it is okay. And again, this is the eight sharing. In practice, for this failure is avoided by spacing the repair at least one half diameter away from the edge. So, what does it mean? One and a half diameter away from the edge. Uh, you want to avoid edge sharing. Okay. Any part that have edges. This are. This is are the edges. Okay. Where do you want, want to put. Uh, okay. Where do you want to put the rivet? Okay. This is the edge. If this is the border you want to put one half diameter okay don't put too near to the edge if we become uh, sharing okay if we become sharing if you count if you measure the diameter okay this is diameter you measure this kind of this diameter put it is one and a half diameter of that oh. Don't put near yeah, by the standard you put one and a half diameter from the from the edge. This is what you calculate. Okay. Uh both connection observing space even greater distance from this for than this for the satisfactory appearance. So and this type of failure may usually be neglected. So for user practice, you never see any design have the the repair put too near to the edge so uh, so don't make the mistake okay don't make the mistake you have you have never seen people putting uh repair very near to the edge so don't make the mistake by putting very near to the edge make it slightly far from the edge okay and analysis on the birds in reverse joints, the reverse are uh, all share the load in shear bearing in the reverse bearing. Remember, other failures are participate by only some of the joint in both the joints. Shear is taken by clamping force, clamping friction. Bearing does not exist. Uh, okay, usually analysis on reverse is on bearing on the four bolts, bearing in members, shear of both distinguishing between thread and shank, shear edge sharing, desiding, and checking member capacity. This is all the analysis on papers itself. So, that's all for this video. We see you in the next video uh, on example 8.6. So, thank you very much.